Hello friends. I often get questions on why you have to do such little bits of work at a time. For example, why do you have to do 15 minutes of a zone? And why do you only do four times a week? Or why do we do a weekly home blessing hour and only have 10 minutes in each little section? Or why we break things up over the week? Even if you're a payroll homemaker, why only two hours on Saturday when I really want to move forward and get something done? Well, the reason that we do that, it's called, first of all, it's called baby steps. Those are baby steps. And the reason we do baby steps is for you to establish habits, number one. But the main reason that you do a baby step is to build confidence in yourself. Because if you set yourself up to do so much work, you know, something intensive, and you, you think you're gonna do that every week, and you know from experience that's not gonna be the result, and in the end you're gonna say, oh man, I blew it, I didn't do well, I'm a loser, whatever thing you say to yourself that's negative. But if you learn to do 15 minutes in your zone, 15 minutes in your zone, 15 minutes in your zone, or you've learned to swish the toilet and wipe the sink for just a second, then after a while that becomes a habit and then you all of a sudden change the perception of yourself and perception is so much a part of this system your self-perception your self-realization and that is that you are the person who does a clutter check every day or you are the person who works in your zone every week in a 15 minute increment and so you're not setting yourself up for disaster and failure you're setting yourself up to win and you're also teaching yourself how to do something in little increments of time. And once you get a handle on this, you're going to change your world. It's going to change the way you feel. Do you remember, or if you were like me in school, if I had a report or something big that was due at the end of, let's say three months, and I knew, I had this plan in the beginning, oh good, I'm gonna do this little bit and this little bit and this little bit, but I never did because I'd say, oh, that's so small, I'm not gonna do that. I'll wait and do that next week. And before you knew it, we're at the end and it's due and I don't even have a poster paper, <laughs> much less have read and, and taken notes and made outlines and all the things that were required to get that report and that, that whole project done. And so I would end up staying, till two, staying up till two in the morning rushing through it, maybe not getting the best grade, and really not learning anything from that other than, oh man, I can't believe I did that again. Why do I always procrastinate? Oh well, I must work best under pressure. That's the thing I hear people say. I work really great under pressure. That is a lie we tell ourselves. It is a lie we tell ourselves. It isn't that we work as well under pressure. It's that you don't have a choice but to get it done under pressure and it's not gonna be good and you're not gonna learn anything from it and you're gonna end up disappointed in the results and you probably aren't going to repeat that, that process again and again over the years and that's not really beneficial. You don't really build a program for your house that way. It, this is a discipline that we give ourselves. A discipline. Do you know that children love discipline? They don't love being disciplined, but they love discipline. They love to know where their borders are and how far they can go. And they feel more peaceful. Studies have shown they're more peaceful, more cooperative, uh, sweeter, not, I don't know, sweeter, but more well behaved, I'll say that, in the environment that is organized and that they know where their boundaries are. And you, as a parent, who discipline them don't enjoy doing that but think of it as you know you're not whipping your kids you're just disciplining them in every little thing they do just like you discipline yourself and we love discipline too you know how much better you feel when you've brushed your teeth and washed your face and taken a shower before you go to bed every night do you know how much better you feel when you're eating a good balanced diet when you're exercising when you're reading your bible when you're doing your little things in the house that you have to do and you have time left, do you know how much better you feel? It's because you are disciplined. And when we live in a disciplined environment, we're happier. We're more at peace. Remember the three goals of the Fly Lady system? It's to have peace in your home, control in your life, and finally learn how to love yourself. Finally, F, loving L, yourself. Why? Fly. Okay, so 
Discipline is something that we need in order to fly, in order to finally love ourselves, in order to have peace in our home, in order to have that feeling of control. Think of discipline with your children as the vines around your table, okay? Each, each of your children is a vine growing up a trellis and you know how vines wanna come off the trellis and go this way and that and sprout extra, extra little vines and you need to clip those off and stick them back in the trellis over and over again until it's trained to go up the trellis. That's what discipline is. It's a constant repeating of the same thing over and over. But you have to mean it and you have to set a boundary so that your children can't push against that boundary and find that it doesn't it doesn't stay it, it gives and when it gives then your child is not comfortable there's no discipline I know it sounds crazy but it's absolutely true so when we talk about um, let me get my book here hold on because we're gonna have some other things we're going to talk about but when we talk about these things these baby steps it's going to lead you to all the other things that we do. You know, it's going to free you up to do these baby steps. So today I had a client who told me, Kat, I'm going to do a project, which is two hours a week and my zones. That's enough. I, I can totally do that. I have lots of energy. And my answer is always no, no, that's my limit. No, you can't do that. If you do that, you won't be doing this system and you won't be getting that satisfaction of saying, I can do this thing. I can do this little step, this little baby step. So today I want you to think of all the things you do as little baby steps. So when you get up in the morning, you know, all those little steps in your morning routine, nothing's hard. It's like a 30 minute routine, but you get up and you make your bed. If you ever time yourself making your bed, you'll be shocked how many minutes it actually does take and doesn't take. You brush your teeth. You wash your face, you moisturize your skin, you wipe out the sink, you swish the toilet. If you wanna put on some makeup, you put a little makeup on, comb your hair, get dressed, put your pajamas away, come on in the kitchen, empty the dishwasher, maybe start a load of laundry, start some coffee. That's all part of a morning routine. Check your paper, get those little things done, little teeny bits, the dripping of water wears away stone. See the stone going down? <laughs> the dripping of water wears away stone. Uh, intensity, I mean, consistency trumps intensity. These are some of the other videos that I've made or some of the sayings that I have. It's the, it's the tortoise and the hare. It's baby steps. So today, when you're doing these little things, remember that it's baby steps and they're important that you do them you don't have to do them perfectly, you have to do them. And you have to do them every day, over and over again. Clutter check three times a day. Repeating to your child to put their shoes in the closet. Put your shoes in the closet. Oh honey, you left your shoes out, put your shoes in the closet. And then you're not just assume that's gonna happen, you have to inspect what you expect. So if they're really little, you follow after them and say, good girl, good boy. And the next time their shoes are in the living room, what do you say? Oh honey, put your shoes in the closet. That's the discipline. That's the training of your child and the way that he shall go so that when he is grown, he will not depart from it. If you train him now, his shoes will be in the closet, not in the middle of the living room floor for his, pure, his, his poor little next wife, his little wife one day. She'll either be really happy with you or really unhappy with you, depending on how you train up your son or how your, or your son-in-law is gonna be really happy with you or really unhappy with you, depending on how you train up your daughter. Because keeping a house and living in a house is a very important etiquette that we must learn. So today, baby steps. None of this deep diving stuff, none of this six hours or I can get it done. You know, we always think that we can do it all because we're smart and we're talented and we're capable and we can do it all. We want to do it all until it actually comes down to doing it over and over again and then it's too much. Our pretend self can do it all. We really don't need to be doing it all. You need to be doing the things I tell you to do in your home and picking a few choice things to do in other parts of your life and enjoying those things and letting someone else do the other things. All right, that's it for today. Enjoy your baby steps. Don't overthink it. Don't think that they're too hard or you have too many. They're not. They're broken up in parts of the day, little parts. Just do the thing that's next. Do the next thing.
All right, that's it for today. Have a wonderful day. And always remember to be beautiful because you are beautiful.